The Bucknell Bison kicked off the 2015 season on Saturday night as the Orange and Blue hosted the Marist Red Foxes. Senior Robert Naylor, who was badly injured last year, walked the team out onto the field, and the emotions flowed all the way through the national anthem. But it was Marist with the first big play of the game as quarterback Ed Oxiger threw a beautiful pass to Lauren Stickens for a 32-yard gain. However, just as Maris gained momentum, defensive lineman Abdullah Anderson made his presence felt. Buckdale preseason All-Patriot League lineman Abdullah Anderson only playing his third year of organized football, and he just, as you said, bull rushed the alignment. You know, that was uh, that was not a swim move. That was not a head bob. That was just plain lookout. I'm coming over top of you. Then Buckdale's offense picked up some needed yards. making his second career start out there in a slot. There is Nitty rolling to his left, throws on the move. It's caught by Kaslin. It will tie up the far sideline for a first and ten bicep. The Christie's crew student group also liked the first reception by local product Colby Klinger. It'll be a third down and six for Buckdale. Have to get it to the 29. Here's a pass out. Man wide open. It's Klingerman. He'll take it for a first and ten bison down the near sideline before being bumped out of bounds. And when freshman Andrew Hours caught his first career pass, the bison offense was right. rolling. Williams in the backfield with Nitty. He'll go in the shotgun. He'll look to pass. Stand up. Fire a wobbler. It's going to be caught by Hours. And he'll drag a tackler for a first and 10 bison. Down to the middle of 16 yard line. This is a guy that everybody's high on. Andrew Hours out of Florida. The freshman ranked one of the top 63 players in the Sunshine State last year. He made a great grab. Although the drive stalled, it just allowed sophomore John Burdick to connect on his first career field goal. At the 20 yard line, it'll be a 30 yard kick to the goal post to our right, trying to give Bucknell the lead here in this game. A low snap, Kaslander does a great job picking it up off the field turf. The kick winds to the goal post to our right, and it splits them for three. Bison, three. Red Foxes nothing. Bucknell was on the move again when the Red Foxes All-American safety Zach Adler picked off an RJ Nitty pass. But the Bison defense rose to the He'll occasion. Go with a play action. He has under pressure. He'll be obliterated. Oh, ring it up. CE Clay Yule plants him into this field turf surface and Oxinger said ah Wide outs left, second down, handoff boundary, right, and he'll get nothing! Calhoun was lifted off his feet! Even when Maris tried to tie the game with a field goal, things turned out bad for the Red Foxes. Ting angle on the far hash mark for the right-footed kicker. Yeah, I was going to say, especially for a right-footed kicker and a right holder. Oh, the hold is good, but the kick is blocked again! The holder did a great job flipping the ball around and putting it down, but the Bison got in there again. I think Abdullah Anderson getting credit with that block. Klingerman and senior Bobby Caslander each grabbed a couple of nitty passes, but Marist would hold again, and the Bison only led 3 to nothing at the half. At the intermission, dozens of former Bison football players were recognized on Alumni Weekend. When Bucknell received the kick to start the third quarter, the Bison offense reacted magnificently. At the 22-yard line, here comes a handoff up the middle and then cutting it to the outside to the 29-30 goes C.J. Williams. There's a blitz up the middle. It's picked up so Nitty will step up and tuck it in and run. He makes a man miss at the 40, gets a great block at the 30. He'll stumble his way for a first and 10. Orange and blue inside the mirror's 25 at the 24. Oh, my almighty, what a great run and deceptive speed by R.J. Yeah, he's not going to win a 100-yard dash, but he's got a nice stride. He's He's got a good rhythm and he makes some nice moves with his hips to actually make turns and cuts. Had left his Klingerman, single setback is Williams. It's man to man out there too. But it'll be a handoff Williams, boundary right, big hole, he'll get a great block at the 20, stumble to the 10. And those plays set up the Bison's first touchdown of the evening. Play clock under 10, Nitty under center, offset eye behind him. Play action, Nitty rolls to his left, has some room. He's going to tuck it, he's going to fight, he's going to charge, he's going to dive. Four, six, touchdown! Your Bucknell Bison, RJ Nitty, 
gets his first rushing touchdown in his career as he fakes it right, rolls back left, had a receiver in the far corner of the end zone, but he said, Kevin, I'm taking it to the house. After forcing a Marist punt, the O went on another long drive. Here it's third and five, Bison at the 47 of Bucknell. When is Birdsong bobblehead now? <laughs> we need one of those. Here's a pass. It's caught by Kasleder for a first down. He'll turn and come upfield into Marist territory. He'll take it to the far side, to the 40, down to the 39. Three wideouts left. Freshman Butler to the right on third and three. Here is Nitty to pass, throws it. It's going to be caught. Die fighting down inside the five, down to the four is Allen Butler. The freshman comes up with his first career grab for a first and goal bison. Well, again, Marist is in the out of position. Here comes the quarterback draw by Nitty and six feet five inches is all it'll take. Touchdown! You are Bucknell Bison. With the Red Foxes trailing now 17 to nothing, the Bison defense pinned its ears back. It's the closed end of Christie left to right. Out of the shotgun, pump and go. Here under pressure, Exiger's going to be sacked for the third time here tonight. Great job by Bill Schumacher that time. But the freshman fireworks weren't yet through on the offensive side of the ball for Bucknell. Jiggity to the left side. Now ours will go in motion to the right, back to the left as Bucknell moves right to left. Defensive backs playing man-to-man -man coverage. Heads up. Here is Nitty to pass. He throws down the near sideline. Great adjustment by Hours. He's going to grab it up the near side from first and 10. Oh, my almighty. I tell you what, Andrew Hours has been a huge target, not only because of his size tonight for Nitty. First and 10 Bison. Yeah, the defensive line for Marist. Here's the defensive offensive line for right. Bucknell. Hand off wide side. Del Morrow going to get a first down and more. He'll spin inside the Marist 35 down to the 32-yard line. Out of the shotgun, Nitty. A blitz is on. He'll step up and everybody throw on the move and a great high grab caught by Butler here he comes up the far sideline he breaks a tackle he comes down the sideline to the 20 he'll be dropped just short of the 20 at the 21 and the crowd loves the Garden State freshman this Mark Piles hit pretty much summed up the offensive woes of Marist on Saturday evening Sigur will stand in the middle throw it oh. the ball is incomplete boy the ball hit Royce's hands at the sticks, the 45, and right when it hit his hands, the Bison defense hit him. This allowed the Bison to get into Coach Joe Susan's favorite offensive formation, the victory formation. Has Bucknell now 1-0 on the 2015 campaign with a 17-0 victory over Marist. Hey, Bucknell!